The dark web can be like a restaurant for identity thieves. Hi, ready to order? I'll have the driver's license number. Great, that comes with a home address or a birth date. Ooh, both, please. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, we'll work to fix it. No one can monitor all transactions, but everyone can save up to 25% off their first year at LifeLock.com slash aware. Identity theft protection starts here. Welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. My name is Corby LaCroix, and the song you're hearing right now is called Great and Mighty One, available on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your music. But for now, recording from the Unscripted Studio in Old Hilliard, here's your host and my friend, Aaron Conrad. All right, everybody, welcome to Unscripted from my studios in Old Hilliard. Corby, thank you for the introduction on audio as always special day today. Uh, This is exciting. I I, uh, new product, you know, Valentine's Day is coming and always like to bring new things. So uh, I have two guests today. Why don't I go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Brock, why don't you start and then we'll go to Mike. Yeah. Hello, Aaron. And thanks for the opportunity to come together. It's uh, been good to get to meet you. And uh, I know we'll share more of this as we move forward. But um, we have some we've crossed some paths of similar people. And uh, I am in the uh, have been for 20 almost 25 years in uh, strength, conditioning, nutrition, so athlete performance and development um, and uh, adult fitness. And I have um, experience in that vast experience in, in several different entities within that realm. Um, bottom line is I love to coach, uh, help people achieve, uh, you know, truly their, their, their potential and perform at the capacity that they're, they're called to do so. All right, Mike, how about you? Well, Aaron, again, thanks for having me. My name is Mike, and uh, well, I'm not near as excited as Brock. So I've just been, <laughs> I've been in the security industry for the last 20 years, a former police officer, and uh, you know, met Brock through uh, through uh, trying to make myself a little bit better, more fit, and that's how we came about and crossed paths that way. So, and then as we'll get into it here, that's the formed a friendship that turned into lots of other opportunities for us. And it's amazing to me uh, that. <laughs> We'll get into this, but Brock, you said it in our little pregame. What was that quote you just said about one person away? What was that? Because I'm gonna screw it up. What was the quote you said? Oh, oh, uh, I think you're one friend away. You know, adding to your community, your network, um, the group that you you travel and do things with. Um, you're one friend away from achieving your destiny. I, I love that cool. because honestly, uh, you and I talked last week, and we actually have multiple wires that crossed over the years and mike for you i was with stanley security for about 15 years two tours of duty i was with best before best was bought by stanley so that tells you a little bit of my history and how old i am but uh it's just a small world and it's been unbelievable to uh to just talk to you guys and and uh see how all of our paths have connected Uh, the other thing i shared with brock is uh, i believe you guys are in ashland ohio and uh, my parents are from Ashland, Ohio. And the, uh, the first thing I asked him was the A&W root beer stand, which I believe is called the Ashland Worcester stand now. Last time I was in town, which has been a while. But, uh, you know, we always start, had to stop by and get our conies and, and uh, root beer on the way home back to Cleveland. So, uh, <laughs> as I understand it, you guys are right across the street. Is that right? That is correct. We're right across the street. It's actually a friend of ours just bought it. Actually, a mutual friend of ours from Brock's side of things, too, bought it this year from the other owners retired, and it's still going strong, and it's a, it's a staple in this community. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get that them on as well because uh, it's a staple in our family. Uh, we 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 honestly we ate more conies than I I can even <laughs> I'm I'm embarrassed to admit. But uh, anyway, we didn't get on to talk about conies. We got to talk about you guys. So uh, a mutual friend, Paul Havasey, who uh, will also be a guest here uh, probably soon, uh, connected all of us. And uh, you know Valentine's Day is coming. So you know Brock, why don't you lead off? Why don't you tell you guys a story and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, so I, I mentioned, uh, you know, my background in strength, conditioning, you know, fitness, performance. And so this is kind of the, you know, the oddity of it as you'll hear the story. But because, uh, yes, we're here to talk about Dolce Sweets, a, an extraordinary chocolate company that uh, was born out of what has uh, we've all kind of been through, in the, you know, the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, through what's a, it's a great thing. And maybe Aaron to, to start off with is, you know, what is a, a good life is one that's not only just celebrating the, the highs but also understanding that the great value and lessons and the adversities and the challenges 
um, that um, mm -hmm. you know make us stronger, right? Uh, you don't uh, um, grow in a, um, when things are comfortable, and um, we're pushed out to those boundaries where we are uncomfortable and and begin to identify uh, greater talents, skills, callings. Uh, that were placed uh, within us that uh, we can do greater things than we were before and ever thought possible. So that is kind of where Dolce Suites came about. Mike and I are dear friends from uh, previous um, business is where I met Paul Hevesy as well. Again, mm -hmm. that connection of people, helping people. Who doesn't want to look better, right. feel better, perform better? So it's been, um, so I don't want to get lost on why is a fitness guy, a performance <laughs> guy involved right. with the chocolates. Well, let's be honest, you got to right. keep the circle going. <laughs> Just kidding. But it, it is... Uh, um, all about people, and I think fitness and what we do here is bringing uh, joy, bringing a positive light, and uh, um, helping people live the good life, right? You can't only do, um, yeah, uh, you know, the strict things in, in one lane and not, you know, enjoy the, uh, the, uh, the, have the joys of life that uh, come, you know, with it, living it well. So um, Dolce Sweets, again, was out of that discomfort and discourse that our world has been facing, Um and Mike and I have wanted to continue to work together, and we were praying about it, and constantly thinking about what that may be, looking for it. So it wasn't something that just happened. It took several months and many conversations, and then he um, will elaborate more on this, but shared uh, a gentleman that he'd met and talked about chocolate. And as soon as he said that, it hit me like the Holy Spirit literally just grabbed hold of me. And when you know, you know. I'm like, wait a second, what'd you just say? And from there we began to work through uh, what we were feeling, what we were both thinking. And to be honest with you, Aaron, who doesn't like chocolate? Right. Uh, most people do. It's yeah. a very simple, easy entry point. It does, there's a bit of nostalgia with it. People think of it right away, a smile. Maybe they're relaxed, they find some peace. But with us, what we are here to do is not only to, uh, provide an extraordinary product, which I promise you it's amazing. Uh, everyone that's had it is floored by how good it is, and Mike does amazing work to do that. Handmade chocolates that you're surely going to enjoy, but now you don't have to compromise on where that comes from or who, uh, who it is that makes it, where you get it from, and you're going to know completely out front that uh, Dolce Sweet stands for something greater, and our mission is to shine a light on what is good, what is positive, uh, what is wholesome in this world, the values and, and uh, uh, principles that godly values and principles that we feel are paramount and that we must uphold and celebrate and highlight in anything and everything we do. Look for the goodness, expect good things to happen and let your light shine within you as obviously that is the greater light of uh, our Lord and Savior. So it's, uh, that's the message that we deliver with our product and even our box that Mike will show you is behind him and uh, what even, how that makes one feel. There's no doubt that when someone receives that that package, one the person that sent it to them, they know they they they're valued, they're appreciated, they're loved. As does the person who know that sent it can feel confident that that will be what they receive. But then they know something even greater. And again, that's what I mean about a small seed that it could land on great soil and it's something so small and insignificant. It's just chocolate, right? But when you open up that box, it says real big and bold on the mm. lip, "You are worthy." Um, and that's a reminder of what our mission is to let everyone know no matter what someone does, what someone tells you, how rough the day is or how bad the month has been, you are important. You are needed. Everyone needs a smile, needs a friend, needs encouragement, and needs light in their life. And if you look, you don't have to try in this world. You're going to be inundated with just horrendous stuff. I mean, difficult, difficult things seen, the chaos that they want to sell us, uh, the dysfunction, the discourse. The, uh, so it's all things to be very... Um, very uh, intentional about, be aware of, and and make sure you're focusing your eyes on where it matters most. So that is a little bit about you know what how this all happened, why we started it, and came came out of our lanes of security right. and fitness, right. and how right. that can be possible uh, with uh, coming across the gentleman who has forty plus years of experience and, and have recipes that and, and just information and things that have been of value to us to help us make it this good that quick. Um, and help us be in a platform that we have now today to, to uh, actually not uh, um, be shy about our values and beliefs and understand that the world needs to hear more of this and we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to not just see something wrong in the world and feel bad about it and be unsettled, but actually do something about well, it. And I love the fact that, uh, and I want to go to Mike in a minute, but we, uh, you know, we're, we're all connected because of a friend 
uh, who's also a believer in faith. And uh, the three, you know, he called me and said, I want to connect you with these two guys in Columbus because you're in Columbus. And, um, you know, I believe more than ever. I thought what Paul said was so powerful was that I believe more than ever in our world right now, we need to link arms uh, with like-minded people, and especially people of faith to be a light. Much of what you just said, I'll, I'll, you said it much better than I will, but um, I love that that's brought us to this very moment right now. Uh, it's it's so powerful, and I love what you guys do and your mission, and, and that's why as soon as we talk on the phone, I'm like, this is absolutely something I have to get out to. Whatever audience I have, the two people that listen, <laughs> I want to get that out to them as soon as possible because it's uh, you're local, but beyond local, you are a, um, a people of faith and have a mission, and that's so much pow- so much more powerful than any place else that I could buy a product. I want to buy, you know, that's why Tom's Shoes made an incredible splash when they they did what they did because they were doing something for a much bigger purpose and i think we see companies succeed like that and every night we're now being inundated with companies that are being canceled for and we won't even get into all that but we're being inundated with companies that are being canceled for their lack of or for their uh, dismiss of a certain thing so to have a company that has a very clear mission and message is very cool so so mike why don't we kick it over to you and i apologize uh, mike's got a little bit of background sound so i don't know if that's going to come across come across in the podcast but uh, we'll, uh, we'll kick it over to Mike. Mike, why don't you tell your story? Well, Brock pretty much nailed it. I mean, it, uh, for me, it started with ice cream. Our family absolutely devours ice cream. You can't keep it in the house. My son, 17, almost 18 years old, and my kids, they just love it. They get it from their, their, my father-in-law, their grandfather. But um, we, we started doing ice cream, homemade ice cream in the summertime. And we, uh, our family runs a Christian camp, um, and so we sent some stuff down there. But during uh, this pandemic, COVID, whatever you want to call it, that's that's kind of where it hit home for us and that's where, where brock and i we'd started some other things about getting into uh some, some real estate ventures and some remodeling things that we, we talked about and actually formed a corporation and was kicking that off and just it just didn't seem right but what had happened is is you mentioned the company i wasn't but the uh when, when big business gets involved and they have um that's right. i fought very very hard to keep my team um i had 22 direct reports and to keep my team away mm-hmm. from the garbage that was going on and and luckily, my, my boss was uh, kind of turned the other way when I wouldn't follow some of the, the COVID restrictions and policies. And, and for about 30 days, we put, uh, we put our staff at home until I decided that was kind of stupid and we brought everybody back. Um, but that being said, our sales team never, never regained um, because we report to different hierarchies. So what, what we did is, is I sent out thank you cards to these guys. I would send out a thank you card, say, hey, appreciate you guys. We're missing you in the office, things like that. And when I got feedback from them from a simple note that said, thank right. you, it was absolutely amazing to me on, on what that looked like and where it would go from there. And, and uh, so then I thought, you know what, let's, as we're doing our ice cream, we wanted to get one step bigger. So we started dipping it in chocolate. And like Brock said, I've got a friend that's uh, been in that business and asked him for some suggestions. And we started dipping it in chocolate and sharing that. And then with the thank yous and the chocolate, it just turned into, hey, this, it's, it's amazing what something a little act of kindness can do to make somebody's day. And that's that's really what what formed us is that we need to share this with other people. We need to share it with everybody. And and as we you know we'll put on the box, you know James one seventeen, every good and perfect gift comes from God. And that's what we intend to to share through Dulce Sweets. I love it. I really do. And it's been amazing. You guys are right. I mean, think about it. We go to the grocery store, we go to the gas station, we go to Best Buy, we go to whatever we go to. First thing we see is a sign in front of us. That's a negative. It's, it's, it, it invokes something within us that's frustrating right now. You know, no matter where we go, the news, the radio, everybody's talking about this. Our kids are faced with it. Uh, We're constantly surrounded by something that is is irritating and so to have something as simple even as a thank you note uh, a gift um uh, behind me on the walls are gifts that that i was given that uh that means something it really does and so uh to have a company launched on that kind of platform is very cool in the time that we're in um let me ask you guys you you said this you launched in the middle of a pandemic how difficult has that been well, I, I don't think it's that. I mean, it's actually the pandemic, as you mentioned, it, that caused it. I mean, when you would just assume snap somebody's neck as opposed to talk to them, I mean, that's the point where chocolate <laughs> chocolate was my release. And so when I'm in the kitchen and, and I'm as Brock, as my wife, anybody, I don't like messes. So when you mm-hmm. see me in the kitchen and trying to do stuff, it's just the, the fact that I would be making chocolate and, you know, as strict a regimen as Brock has on his diet. But it, the pandemic is, is really to thank for, for what we've got here. Um, I think all businesses are challenging to start, but when you, uh, and I, I can't say it enough, the way 
when I brought it to Brock as a friend, and you know, he mentioned that quote, I'll mention another one. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And mm. if you don't have good brothers and, and sisters to, to carry you along and, and to push you and to encourage you and to, and to call you out, then you need new friends. You need a new circle of friends. And you know, with Hevesy and Brock and those, those guys, so when you bounce an idea, I'll say, hey, this is where I'm thinking. Um, you know, Brock was going to help me regardless whether we were in business or not together. And it just made sense, and, and I let him get into it. But, you know, everything came together very quickly. So to, to, in our perspective, you know, it was divine. I mean, the branding, the names, the people, the product. We ran into a little hiccup there for uh, chocolate. I was actually asking our family and friends. I said, you need to pray for chocolate. There's a chocolate shortage. We can't get chocolate. And then, unbeknownst to me, we get a call, and we got tons of chocolate. Literally, tons yeah. of chocolate. So. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah, I'll let Brock elaborate to that, but I think it was just the Holy Spirit leading guiding us through the whole process. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. As Mike said, it was, uh, it truly was, it is divine. Uh, that's what I mean when it grabbed me, when he said it. Um, and there's a couple times in my life, and I pray, and I hope that I'm, those that have lived enough and, and are seeking uh, God uh, um, and spending that concentrated time and whatever time of day that you d devote to it, but that you do it consistently, that it is, there's so much truth, truth to it. You just um, there's a clarity, there's a peace uh, when it uh, doesn't happen often. I mean, to be honest, but when it does, then that's where you take notice. Um, and I've a few instances in my life where that's certainly been the case. And uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it, it's it, it is often right. Is even the good uh, uh, book says it's in the you know, the valleys, if you will, the darker times, the challenging times. Again, that's why I say that, um, you know, success comes to those uh, who um, choose to remain mm -hmm. uncomfortable, mm -hmm. right? It, it really does. So I think that uncomfortable, it means, again, where you've, you go beyond what you're accustomed to doing. You're not fully um, confident in, you don't have all the answers. And that's, and that's a, a place where I guess what I'm saying, Aaron, is that when you're led by faith and you um, believe in that uh, divine intervention, that calling, that pulling on you, the compellingness uh, of, of uh, um, you know, our prompter, that um, you understand and begin, it's a great place to be that right. you don't have to have all the answers. You just have to have the faith and confidence. Right. You'll figure it out as you go. So truly, that's where we are at. I don't know where this goes. I just know it's, uh, it's, we're not going anywhere but continuing to stay faithful to it. And going to, you know, love that we have this opportunity and thank you again of, uh, to be the first time to be able to really start in a, in a public forum beyond who we know directly. Um, and we'll get there, but to share that because where I've come from, where Mike's come from, and many people, you feel in this day right now, mm. you are unable to speak right. your right. true as mind. I said, and and yeah, that's as I said, it. everything's being yeah. canceled, right? And, and that's the whole play. We won't even get into the yeah. politics of it. It's just everything's being canceled. Uh, things are being removed. Things are being taken away. And there's a whole thing we could probably do an entire episode on that piece of it. But I think we want to keep it on the positive yeah. and, and focus on the fact that uh, there's three, three gentlemen here, myself included, that have, uh, you know, Carrie Job said it, not a plug, uh, but on an episode I did with Carrie, uh, she said it uh, very well. If I'm going to say I have faith over fear, then I have to live that. Otherwise, it means nothing. I can't, you know, you can't just say that you have to, if, if that's really who, what we believe, you know, that's what we have to have. And so I myself, uh, am doing the same thing as most people, listeners know, um, you know, I've stepped in in faith. Um, you know, there's fear. Uh, there's a lot of sleepless nights. I'm sure you all have them as well. Um, you know, but I think if we believe we're doing the right thing and we're led by the spirit and we're linking arms with other believers as well, we have incredible opportunities to do, uh, maybe not change the world, but change our world. Um, I think Bob Goff said it best, too, and I think we've touched it a few times. I heard him say it one time on the radio. Um, he said that it, at uh, the average hospital bed, and this is somewhat morbid, but the average hospital bed has space for six people around it, eight if they're skinny, <laughs> if, they're, if they're thin like you guys are in fantastic shape. But uh, the average hospital bed holds six people. It has enough room for six people around it. Who are those six people that are going to be around your hospital bed? 
Um, I think we're talking about it more in the business sense today, but at the same time, you know, we have a village around us, uh, six, eight, 10, it doesn't matter, you know, whether it's business, whether it's personal, we all have a village around us. And what are we doing with that village? Because if we all inspire our own villages, as we've said, we're one person away from the next person, the next person. That's all we can do, I think, in this world today. And so you all are doing that not only in your personal lives, but also with the company. So um, tell us about, we've talked a little bit about it, but um, how is your company doing that. And I know you've talked about packaging and some things like that, but I also believe you guys are doing some stuff uh, philanthropically as well, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Well, and that was one of the, the things is, is, is Brock mentioned earlier is we, you know, I, I can't be a Christian because I get pissed off and I cuss, right? So that's that's not where <laughs> we're at in this world, but that's, can I say I'm that? I'm going to quote I, that. I did. Um, I'm going to quote that. So, <laughs> but I mean, that's, right that's where we're hang at. On, tw- it's, it's, hang on, I'm it's, tweeting that. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're, we're definitely uh, judged, and, and, and probably more so as Christians, we judge a lot of people otherwise as well. And if you're not in the Word every day, uh, and being humble and stuff, but we want, and, and I, I think it was Paul that kind of alluded to it in your conversation, in the, in the, um, is we have to make sure that we are conscious of where our money's going. We are conscious of where we're focusing our time. We're con- conscious of who we're spending that time with, especially in this day and age, because our, our time is very, very short. I look back now, you know, Brock's son just had a birthday. My son's gonna be 18 this year. And it, it really does go so quickly and, and, and yeah. life is short. And, and we don't have the days where you're living 110, 130 years like they had in, in time, times ago. So we have to be conscious of what we're doing. So we've partnered and we've got a call tomorrow on, on on those missions that we just feel that are near and dear to our heart. Mine, mine specifically is we have a, a Christian um, pregnancy center, which is basically on, on mission to combat everything to government funds for, for abortions and, mm. and health care that way. And it's truly a wonderful mission that we uh, are able to support to, uh, to help them do free services for, for people to come in. And that free services are not only pregnancy related, but it, it may be to talk uh, to somebody, offer counseling, let them know there are alternatives for abortion let them know what that weighs on their heart down the road and, and moving forward and and that's that's one of those missions and that that's near and dear to our heart and it's just an opportunity that we can uh, use this as a vehicle um you know wealth isn't bad uh, it's it's something that you can use to touch one person to touch 10 people just like you spread the gospel just like you know a rumor starts you're going to do the same thing it's compound interest with good deeds and that's kind of what we're looking at here with us so wow. And I, you know, one of the things I noticed on that, um, on the website for that, uh, organization that you support was they said, uh, for males and females, uh, cause I, I thought that, that that's what jumped yeah. out to me was males and females. Cause I think that probably goes back to the counseling piece that you talked about, but I, I was, I, I caught that, that it said males and females, not just for females. Cause I think a lot of times we think, okay, well it's, you know, just for the female. Well, I mean, you know, I just thought that was interesting, uh, when I saw that on the website. Yeah, and then, no, that's a good point. I mean, they've actually mentioned last week that the court has actually ordered uh, some fathers to go through counseling of some sort in this program to to see what it is. And I think we all can attest a lot of a lot of the world's problems start with the family and the breaking mm-hmm. up of the family. And if, if, if dad is not in the picture, um, then we need to do our best to make sure he is in the picture in some way, form or other. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be living in the house, but uh, it does mean they need to be involved in their child's life because I, I know that uh, without a father figure, it, it's going to be tough in this world. All right. So let me ask you guys, what makes Dolce Sweets different? As far as the product, let's talk about the product itself. Because if I'm listening to this, what makes, what makes the product different? Rock, you want to handle that one or you want me to? <laughs> oh, it's I mean, yeah, go ahead. I, I really don't know. I, I, I think it's, it's, First of all, we're using pure chocolate, if you think of it that way. It's not something you go to the store and buy. It's, it's definitely a, a, a source chocolate. And if you get into the history of chocolate and the process from uh, the cacao fruit that actually brands from you know, bean to barn, it, it's a very, very cool process. It's very labor intensive. And uh, you know, there's, there's missions there within itself. But um, you take the, the purest ingredients and you put them together, we're just we're just chefs in a kitchen that are taking products that are already done and putting them together and making them taste good. And, and uh, you know, it really is in, in its most natural form, probably the sweetest that, that you can get. So, and that's, there's nothing extravagant. It's, it's not sexy. It's just putting it together and it just happens to taste really, really good. Right. Wow. That's fantastic. I, yeah. I tell you, he's, Aaron, he's being obviously 
humble to the fact of the you know the uh, multiple efforts of to make things better. But it is the it starts with the source of the chocolate, and I then believe personally, um, and again all all. all Transparency, not a chocolate guy, right? I mean, I'm a fitness guy, and you're thinking, what? I was gonna How do I know yeah. about it? Well, yeah. what I just know is, <laughs> right? What? But I do. Who doesn't like chocolate? I do certainly love it. And actually, one of the top selling products, and he'll laugh, is called a Brock <laughs> bite. Awesome. So funny. <laughs> My wife has this, becomes a comedian, and says she gets enough. On Brock video, bites we at got home. Mike okay. showing that product right in front of us now. <laughs> uh huh. Now that's a little story too. I didn't. It, it, it kind of stuck, and people liked it, and that's what's fun. But truly, the process, uh, the handmade. Um, uh, truly made the order right on the order fresh. It obviously makes a, a I think a big d- difference too. Um, and uh, I really think again to our faith, what is happening? We are truly. I don't believe it's um, some pitch. It's uh, you know we are putting our heart and soul uh, in the greater mission to bring more people to Christ and make them aware to to be aware of where you focus right. your gaze. It's so more important than ever because of this, this many distractions. I, mean, I truly believe it and know it in my heart. The number one threat to anyone achieving their capability and performing to their full capacity, which is one of my most annoying and uh, my, my missions in life, is to help people stop underperforming their potential and quit making excuses and start to live up to the capacity that they've been given and, and the assignment that they've that been provided by God personally to them. So um, I very much uh, uh, about that, that we are putting our heart and soul into that and helping people, um, you know, uh, uh, begin to maybe um, get that one moment in, the, in their life and that minute they open up that box. Uh, maybe a little altruistic, but I think it's our faith and belief that I don't, I've seen it way too many times. In one moment, how someone's down or it's been defeated or they're, they're looking at the wrong measurement and then you could get something or words that someone said or a smile that we've all received. And then it's just like, right. stops you in your tracks. Right. Like, what was that? That is what what we put behind and, and into every product that we produce. The ba- the, the packaging, even the bag that he held up, uh, the gold embossed. Um, I mean, to the font. To Mike saying, it just came to us. Everything about goodness created to be shared is what we stand for, and that means multiple things. But that's the slogan that came to me, sitting in the truck waiting for my son's basketball, you know, uh, practice to finish. And I'm like, I'm like, Mike, goodness created to be shared. I think that's it. And uh, again, just in helping him at that point and thinking as we're talking about what might, um, you know, uh, be something useful going forward that, that people could grab hold of and, and know right away what it means. Uh, again, to them, but yes, the product, goodness, great, got it, that's awesome, how to have it. But goodness and created, the capital G, capital C, it's God, family, country, it's uh, our trio is our signature product. And then the main thing that was born from that was the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, a trio. So everything about us from the way we make it to the way it's packaged to the way it's delivered and the experience one receives embodies it all. And that is just to remind people, shine as a light in the world that you were designed to be. And uh, I, I, I just guard your input um, and uh, be, you know, be enthusiastic. Live and, live and leave a memorable legacy, I think, when you said about the, right. the, the hospital bed and the six spots that will live on and on and that's love uh, kind words thankfulness faithfulness uh, vision a charitable gift and that leads to that mission partner and that you know like the shoes that you mentioned it, that's what we said when we want to do this let's do something greater than ourselves is what it's all about that's why we're it's, it's easy to be so passionate about it because it's not about us it's not about any of us in that regard but a mission partner for the pregnancy ashland pregnancy center um to comfort cases and i mentioned that to you when we first talked and that's a non-profit that i again Born out of helping a woman help, and it, it, it's a, a member of one of my businesses in fitness, to get herself highly talented, incredibly successful, but life was a little wreck in, in her personal health and, and, and mental well being. So help her, come alongside her, uh, be that encouraging light in the ways that I have been blessed to, you know, gifted to be. That's it, just do me. But then I'm helping her. And then I don't know what she did or who she is and who she knows, and my goodness gracious. She's someone who's done quite a lot of good things and is a great person, knows a lot of great people. But then that leads to Rob, and the the gentleman is the founder of Comfort Cases. And Comfort Cases is a mission that's simply based on, and we all gravitate to here, that is eliminating the the, the demoralizing practice that I cannot believe and you won't believe when you hear it still exists, and that's giving children in foster care a black trash bag to put their belongings in, which they have very few of any, and they're all used, no one's, nothing's new, as they're being already moved from one home or facility to another. 
And, and, and this is what, and Mike touched on it. I mean, our God family country, it, that the, the world out there, again, no political thing here at all. Just we all can take a step back and, and look at really what's going on. And when you're trying to tear down the, the, the nuclear family and dismantle mm-hmm. the patriarch, I mean, what in the world right. do you think is going to happen? And, and so that's the same thing when I see with these uh, children in foster care. And don't, and don't, don't, don't call them foster children. They're mm. children in foster care. Yeah. Change the language. Change what we're choosing to see yeah. and let's do something about it. That that's telling the kid if he gets a black trash bag, what you're not worthy. Right. You're not valuable. So you know what? Just be who we're already telling you you're going to be. And the average age of children in foster care, not to get up to us on foster care, but this is our mission of things, is that every purchase of the product goes to these missions. A portion of awesome. that is what we're trying to say here. And we're being careful in who we're aligning with and, and believe the mission is great. And it, 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 you'll notice it, it revolves around family, kids, right? And, and, and um, uh, building up the individual, helping them get out of a bad situation, sharing the light that there's something more and it doesn't have to always go this way. But with the children, average age of six, and you're telling them, you, you're just, you're, you're already telling them, hey, look, we don't expect much from you. Just keep, you, you know, you're okay. No one's going to come bother uh, or point a finger and say, well, we're disappointed in you because you know what? We don't think much of you. Anyway, here's a black trash bag. And, and Aaron, I know I get it going because I'm just a coach at heart, but what, what I see with people is that you have three options and this world can really crap on you. I know it, and, but, it, you, but you, what you do every day, how you look at things, the guardrails you put up, the people you surround yourself with, so it's input, associations, environment, and then knowing that those people that are less fortunate don't have that person that's able to tell them this and show them this, lead that way. That's where we come and have to be responsible for that. Um, they, they can either give in to what society's told them they're going to be, give up, just raise the flag and not do anything more, become you know, a product of drugs, alcoholism, you know, uh, continue to be a, you know, uh, cause pregnancies and not be there and, and just let everything continue the, and not take any responsibility. Or you can choose mm. to give it all you got. And when we are, when we felt compelled to be here to do what we're doing, decided to do it, and know it was off the wall for each of our lives and what we've tracked so far, but as we know, God prepares you in ways you never thought for what is really coming. And uh, if you're faithful in those small things, you're going to be great, uh, greatly appreciative of what can happen in, in the bigger things. And um, these are the small hinges that swing big doors. Is what I'm talking about, yeah. where I'm going. I just it really is the small things that seem so insignificant. Maybe at times they're easy to overlook. They're insignificant, but by God. Lord have mighty, that is the small things always lead to the big things right. everyone wants and sees. So let's start acknowledging those things. And, and that's with you each and every day, how you do you. So that, sorry, that's kind of the mission and more of what we do and what's behind the chocolate and how we make it and what we believe yeah. we're going to do with it. Hey everyone, my name is Cami Prannell and I'm the executive director for My Unscripted. We hope you are enjoying today's interview. My Unscripted is dedicated to helping others find their voice, passion, and follow their dreams. Our team can help create websites, apps, YouTube channels, podcasts, media, and social content. Whatever your passion and vision, we can help. Our good friend Manny Ahomi of Samaritan's Feet once said, make sure your dreams and goals are big enough to create room for others to join you. We've created room for you to join us too. Find out more at myunscripted.com. Now let's join Aaron for the second half of today's interview. You, you, we both have given everyone, I think, listening to this a ton of great sound bites, great clips, uh, great advice. Uh, it's not just about sound bites, it's about advice. And, and there is so much that you all have already given us. Um, the two missions I think that, uh, that my unscripted is, is uh, that anyone listens knows is uh, we control the inputs and God controls the outcome. Um, and that was given to me by a former Stanley, actually a former best, uh, uh, someone in the ivory tower that, uh, is, is a mentor of mine. Uh, I thought he said it best. We control the inputs and God controls the outcome. Uh, you all are making inputs, um, not just within your company, but in other places as well, which is what you were just saying. Uh, the other thing I believe is something that Samaritan's feet, uh, founder, uh, said to me once. And that was, uh, you know, make sure your dreams and your goals are big enough to create room for others to join you. And um, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> you know, uh, we, I'm, I try to do that every day. That's a vision of, of my unscripted is to create room for others to join us. And uh, I think you all have created rooms and I'd love to join you. And I think uh, we, we share that uh, in common. Um, and so with that being said, um, the other thought I had is, is both of you were speaking. Um, I'm going to go in the next probably week to two weeks. You know, we're about, what, two and a half weeks out. 
from the big day, right? Valentine's Day is coming. <laughs> I'm going to go down yeah. and I'm going to overpay for roses that I probably paid 10 bucks for two weeks ago. I'm probably going to pay 50 bucks, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, the shelves are probably already lined and we're lined probably the day after New Year's with uh, Valentine's Day chocolates from all kinds of companies and all kinds of different things. If you're hearing my voice, uh, the reason why I wanted to get this done and out as soon as possible is do not spend your money there. Um, I think you've heard, hopefully, in this uh, episode and with this interview, why you should spend your money here. So if I'm looking to do that, I think you guys have an announcement on a possible discount code, but also what is available. So if I'm listening to this and I'm driving down the road and I'm trying to make my Guys, if you're listening to this, start making your Valentine's Day plans. We're, we're trying to help you out. We're trying to give you a solid. It's uh, January 25th. You got a couple weeks. We're trying to trying to help out a brother. So, <laughs> or ladies, if, if you're listening to this as well, you got a couple weeks. So, guys, what, what's available, um, you know, for, for Valentine's Day? Well, I'd say let me feed right on that. The gentlemen, listen. That's right. you know, step up your game this Valentine's. Right. Bring romance to the forefront. That's what this always still at the forefront. And we see Valentine's maybe a little different than our right. our spouses, uh, but we all hope for the same. Uh, I hope that that happens. But present her with the most extraordinary chocolates that not only say I love you, uh, yeah. but you are my everything. Right. Elevate her. Celebrate her. And uh, um, look, sweet and beautiful is chocolate and she's going to enjoy it. And you don't want to take any shortcuts with your gifts or plans this Valentine's. You know, say no to the st- mass produced store. As, as Aaron said, uh, products in that cheesy right. Valentine's right. cardboard box. Right. Whatever that is. <laughs> and it, it all starts with the, you know, choosing the right sweets to buy your special someone. So, uh, and we all know the right kind of chocolates can make or break <laughs> everything else that follows. Back to that point. So leave nothing to chance, would you, gentlemen? Right? Get the right kind of chocolates, uh, you know, and, and uh, uh, give them the absolute best. And that's where the Dolce Sweets handmade chocolates, those are the commercial, right? Goodness created to be sure that you've heard from us today. But we have a couple uh, packages there, and I'll let Mike, the love and romance, the uh, sweet and beautiful of uh, um, package combination that we have available. And everyone listening here, when you go to Dolce Suites, all you need to do with that checkout is uh, just put in the word for your uh, discount of 15% on anything is un, uh, unscripted. Just the word unscripted and 15% off now through Valentine's Day. You don't want to delay your order beyond the 12th and you're pushing it but the 12th of February. And Mike, what are those combinations again that we have? Well, actually, Brock, I've kind of opened it up. So whatever products we have available, we're going to put, it'll hit this afternoon. You'll be able to pick and choose your, but you have a, you have an option of a turtle and it'll be darker milk chocolate because um, turtles seem to be our favorite. Of course, we can, Brock bites are there. I mean, we've heard it. They're the number one selling product. So you, know, you can take a Brock bite home to your, to your, to your loved one and they will just gobble them up. But no, my wife, for, for her, she, she requested dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate person, so um, we have to open it up. So you have your choice of a, a chocolate and another product. You have two products in that, uh, that bundle and uh, it, they come nice. And not only do they come nice, we've actually gone one step further. You're actually gonna get them packaged in our, in our box with um, some silk red rose petals. So when it comes up, so now you have something to throw, you know, just add it ambiance to your room. Love right? it. Oh, no, you People didn't. Throw it on the bed, Let's whatever go. you want to do to, to package that Let's up real go. nice for you. So, so we're, fellas, we're trying to help it out. Yeah, Make I mean, it as easy as you can. If you screw it up, guys, it's not our fault. We, we did right. everything we could us. do. So, I mean, turtles, toffees, Brock Bites. By the way, Brock Bites are caramel and chocolate. A wonderful combination. Um, yeah, just melts in your mouth. But uh, And several other products there, too. But those seem to be the hot spot. All right. So, so why, why would I, I look, I, I'm saying this, I'm not asking the question. Why would I run down to the local <laughs> grocery store, buy some box that's, yeah, it's heart shaped, cool, whatever. Uh, but there's no message inside. There's no, th- I mean, quite frankly, there's no thought behind it. They're mass producing for the, for the masses. Uh, and goodness with supply chain issues, maybe those aren't even on the shelf. Who knows? <laughs> Again, different podcast, different day. But mm-hmm. why would I go to the grocery store and just buy a box when uh, and when I've heard this interview and listened to the heartbeat of you two, uh, listen to your faith, your mission, uh, what you're doing in life, and um, know that when my uh, significant other receives that package, it's going to be well thought out. It's going to be handmade. It's going to be um, intentional, I think, is the, the point. Um, you know, and to your point, Brock, uh, you know, we're at a time where we should be intentional with our significant other. Uh, we, we've got to be because I think every system and everything in the world is trying to peel that apart right now. So be intentional. Uh, this is a great way to start. 
great way to start. And I'm so thankful for you guys just stepping out and giving my audience uh, 15% off. So you use unscripted. Man, that means the world to me. Uh, we've, we've met twice, one phone call, and now today. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys would immediately step up and just say, hey, your audience, 15% off. That means a lot. Yeah, and Aaron, uh, thank you uh, again for the opportunity to be here. And, and to your listeners there, the, gentlemen, again, the messaging, you just made, you, you, you've said it a couple times, but what we designed this to be is you customize the message. Um, and it comes in a nice, again, very heartfelt card looking really sharp, uh, but your messaging. And, and we have some things that are predetermined there if you wish, but I would encourage you, fellas, I'm going to give you little tips here that you are wonderfully made, right. is simply said. And boy, would she light up. Um, you are made on mm -hmm. purpose for a purpose. Um, you are uh, loved. Um, you know, just those simple fewer, you know, right. fewer is better. And uh, let your heart shine through that. And um, she'll, yeah. um, she'll, she'll glow. And I think that's the whole point of it. And that comes back to, again to our values of our family. Mike and I didn't say much about this yet, but I mean, we both, he has three children. I have two boys. He's got a, a boy and two girls. Uh, wonderful family. Um, again, that's why uh, um, I, I obviously was drawn to him when we first met. And again, the, the, the man of Christ that he is, but the, the, the godly leader in his family that he is, is it's awesome. And uh, just again, to have good men in, in your life to, to, you know, show you the way and help you keep on the right path. Yeah. Um, our world needs more of that. And uh, I'm trying to do just the same and best we can. And I'm blessed to have an awesome uh, uh, wife that stands by me and, and helps me in all we do. Uh, but uh, those two boys, and I'm talking right. to dads now. I mean, come on. When you have a child, you're, you just it changes everything. It truly does. And beyond what you could ever love that you could never imagine having. And, and we need to display ourselves to our young boys how to treat the women and how to um, honor them and celebrate them. And uh, that's something that uh, I didn't personally have so much in my life, was raised by a single mom and so forth. So, but, but those things are great. It teaches you what not to do, but we're here to make sure we can do everything we can to, to um, again, just live a memorable, meaningful life that, that does celebrate it for all that it is and all that it should be. Um, life is too short. Nothing's yeah. guaranteed tomorrow, dadgummit. And uh, you got to choose to yeah. live the good life. Smile. And look into it, right. you look what is possible, uh, and uh, um, attitude is everything with it. So we just again hope for uh, you know, listening to this that you we're added value to your day, your life, your thought process, and know there are great people out there um, that are willing to come alongside and help you and maybe some of the, uh, the uh, smallest of ways you never thought would and be I'll a great value on, to we're, you. And I'll we're setting the bar for our daughters as dads. Um, you know, I've got two daughters myself, yeah. and we're setting the bar for. Uh, <laughs> what they will expect, um, you know, from the people that they date and, and uh, yes. one day will marry. So uh, I think, you know, man, we've given marriage advice. We've given dating advice. We've gone wow, far beyond <laughs> the scope. Uh, all right, Mike, uh, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> See, chocolate. So it goes so much further than you ever thought. All right, Mike, I'm going to go to you real quick, and then we'll circle up. I want to make sure we get all the links before we get uh, before we get off. But, Mike, I'll give you first word before we jump off. Yeah, so no, just to elaborate on what Brock said, you know, the, the family is important. And, and I want to say two things. One is not only are you getting, you know, you're, you're going, you're, you're being part of a mission that's bigger than yourself when you buy from us. That's, that's no question. But you're also getting, you have the option to be part of a community. And it's stuff that we're sharing right now from our heart, and Brock shares really, really well. There's a blog you can subscribe. You can get an email. You'll see the stuff that we think about. And when we study stuff, it'll show up, and, and you'll get those emails from us and, and have an opportunity to communicate and, and engage that way with like-minded believers. And, and if you're not a believer, I mean, it, Brock said it all with a the, with the child. I mean, if, if you can look at your child and have unconditional, immediate love for that, that's the same way our Heavenly yeah. Father looks at us every day. And so when you say this is child is, is worthless, it can't be because this child is more value, though it doesn't yeah. offer anything. It's, it lays there, it cries, it needs fed, it needs changed. It has absolutely doesn't offer anything, but you know at that point that that child is more valuable uh, than anything you can do. And that's how God looks at us. And that's what we're trying to get across. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, we're, we're not perfect people. Obviously, there's only one that I'm aware of that, that, that is. And that's, that's kind of where we're at is we've got to do what we can do to, to spread that, that word. But... That, that being said, to the product, right? So dulcisweets.com, D-U-L-C-I, uh, sweets.com will get you to our, our products. Um, it is Dulci. It's, it's, uh, it's pronounced that way. It's actually in several different languages, as Brock alluded to. It's, it means sweet, sweet sweets, or beautiful as a name. So sweet and beautiful is in our, 
it's inner, again, it's, it's, it's everything we do is, is sweet and beautiful, and that's what we intend for everybody. So go to dolcesweets.com. You'll see enter, at your checkout line, you'll enter that coupon code, uh, unscripted. you get your 15% off your product. And, and like I said, don't waste time. We'll get it to you. The chocolate will last. Uh, but the, uh, if you're late, I'm telling you guys, you might as well forget it. Don't go to check a box off. Let's, right. let's be That's intentional right. we, about We've it. warned you guys. We've warned you. <laughs> Brock, next up. I'm, I'm, I'm entrenched with what Mike uh, was saying. I think we've, uh, I, again, I want to just reiterate that community, that tribe. Um, yeah. Again, yeah. I don't, we, in our research, we did not, and, and, and had others do it as well, but have not found, there may be, but with, to our knowledge, not another chocolate company that has put their faith at the forefront. Mm. Uh, their values um, and it let it be clear to what what they stand for I think now more than ever with what we've all endured uh, we are far more interested and focused on where I do my spending where I buy things what do they stand for and then even not just um, you know looking and giving a quick look but a little even deeper look at before we even go to Amazon and say well what, what is this coming from yes. and who is right. this affiliated with I mean we look. Let's be our brother's keeper and understand mm. what we're looking to do and be intentional with how we do it. And you know, let's not get tired of doing good. Yeah, uh, the world needs more of it. And uh, I just uh, again hope that today's message, you know, encourages them and opens up a, a greater thought to, uh, um, you know, not just uh, to take things at the surface level. There's a lot more here, and we all do need each other. Press on toward the goal to win the prize. Yeah, those kind of things come to my mind, Aaron. And uh, sign up for that if you would. Go to dolcesweets.com and that community. And as Mike said, what's on our mind is it always be unexpected, kind of like unscripted, but right. it's from the heart that um, you're going to get positive, uplifting messages of leadership, inspiration, encouragement, reminders. And you're thinking, what's that got to do with chocolate? Well, if you didn't hear this, you wouldn't know what it would. But when right. you go there and you start to read it, it's something that very once a week we send something out. Of course, the Facebook page and Instagram, we're starting to develop that. I'll be honest, I'm not a social media fan, and that's why we would, we need help with that. But this is where hopefully you can grab on with people that do have that influence and and that sphere of, of, of uh, that uh, of, again, of influence and the number of people they have in their network. That if it does resonate with you, we greatly appreciate you know sharing this with with those that you think would benefit from it. Ultimately, that's probably the, the biggest thing, Aaron. I'd like to you know make sure that and ask that of people if they do, if this has hit them, they've heard it. Uh, please come and, and visit that, like the page, comment, share it, uh, either on any social media platform where we are, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at this point, and then uh, tune into that uh, community page. We'd love to hear from you. Give us a chance so you won't be disappointed. And the best place to start, again, is dolcesweets.com, D-U-L-C-I, sweets.com. Did I spell right? Yes, sir. Dolcesweets.com. We know that there's a coupon code available, 15% off, uh, coupon codes unscripted. But uh, we've covered a lot of ground here, and, and I, I really don't want anybody to miss the um, – I have an opportunity. You just said it. I can go to Amazon. I could order something. It'll be at my house. you know. But I don't know a thing. Uh, I mean, the things we hear about Amazon, again, I'm not here to trash Amazon. We don't know anything about Amazon. We, we're just contributing to big business. Um, I could go down to the grocery store. I can overpay for roses, which I'm going to do because they <laughs> jack up the price every year. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there's a box of chocolate. I'm going to grab it off the shelf. D don't do that. Please listen. If you've, if you've listened to this, if something that we have said today has triggered something within you, go to DolceSweets.com. Sign up for the newsletter, number one. Let's do that first, and let's just stay connected with this incredible business and these two incredible gentlemen and the team that they have behind them. Um, let's get something on order for Valentine's Day, but also st follow the progress and tell others. I think that's we've we've said this a few times now, whether it was the hospital bed analogy or the one you know person away analogy or all the other things that we've said. Uh, we all have influence, and uh, I you know we're gonna we're gonna work with you guys. We're linking arms with you guys. I'm honored to work with with an incredible company and you two guys uh, in your leadership. But uh, we all have influence, and the best way that I could help you today is to tell anyone hearing my voice. First of all, share the episode, and then and not not for my don't do it for me. Do it because the two gentlemen that have taken time out today to uh, to share their story, but also tell them about the company. Tell them about what something you heard today. Share it across all your socials, the impact that that would make, uh, because they'll, someone else will hear it and someone else will hear it. And that's the best thing that we can do in this world today is we do still have some freedoms, <laughs> like a free podcast or, uh, you know, whatever it may be, social, inter you know, social uh, uh, media is still 
knock on wood, free in most cases. We have influence, and we have villages, and we have people around us share it. Uh, share this story today, both the leadership lessons, the marriage lessons. The Hey, fellas, we gave you some good stuff, like... Fellas, don't miss what we said, uh, and and don't look, you know, don't forget the date. But uh, I think we shared a lot today, man. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys and how much uh, I'm I'm so honored that Paul made a phone call, yeah. made a connection, and, and that I got to spend time with you guys today. Yeah, no, likewise, it's it's fantastic to to meet and talk to you and, and listen, and have been on your page. I didn't know where he was until Paul made that. But again, it goes back to what you just said: is is we it's a village, and you have to be conscious of that village, and it starts at your home, but. You know, it's not just going and buying roses. Start local. Start stop at a local flower shop. Make sure you're 100%. putting money back into your community because that small business is the backbone of this economy. And and we want to make sure that those people can salvage. They've had a rough couple of years. Let's make sure they stay stay thriving and, and can and help support your community. Because let's face it, the Amazons aren't putting putting money into this, this the local sports teams. They're not sponsoring that kind of stuff. Where that's where small yeah. businesses are, and we're glad to be a part of it. And I appreciate you for Great taking point. the time to, to join us. Happy to do it. And Aaron, what you said, what we talked about in the beginning, the, you're one friend away from your destiny and, and talking about Paul. Uh, one last thing, listeners, when something grabs hold of you, take action. Yeah. I yeah. reached out and, I mean, Aaron was first to respond in that group text of bringing it together. And then, uh, you know, I reached out to him as well. So right away, and we had a, um, we scheduled something, you know, a, a time to talk and then made the effort to do so. Again, I think that comes from two things. One, know that apathy creates atrophy. Uh, so apathy is the enemy of fulfillment. We can't become complacent, yeah. right, and, and apathetic about the world and, and things we're doing. And, yeah. and then second to that, and right in accordance with it, is believing the best. Yeah. So when you believe and you are focused on that, you will then more likely take action immediately. And I cannot tell you, right, all of us have been through it and done it. When you sit and wait and procrastinate or just try to think through, oh, I don't know everything yet, like we said earlier, it can cost you that opportunity. So again, it's only because of a friend, mutual friend thought of us and we both acted upon it and we're here today very quickly there after that introduction. So, yeah. um, and again, it's only, uh, you know, uh, only greater things will come from, from it too. I believe in that fully. So the type of person you are, Aaron, and what you've done, the life you've lived and the story you've shared to be where you're at now, I, I, I know it's gonna lead to even greater things for um, anyone who comes in contact with you. So thank you again. Absolutely. DulceSweets.com, D-U-L-C-I Sweets.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Guys, get your orders in. And ladies, ladies, get your, everybody get your orders in and get your 15% off. And, uh, man, thank you guys both. This has been awesome. Uh, and I, I appreciate you, and I look forward to all that we're going to do in the future. All right, man. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Right. God bless you. All right. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Unscripted Podcast with your host, Aaron Conrad. Make sure to like, share, follow, and review on your favorite podcast platforms. Also, make sure to check out my song, Great and Mighty One, on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you find your music. We'll see you next time on Unscripted with Aaron Conrad.